Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I've watched it now. The Marvels. Let's talk about it. So I watched the Marvels and um, it took me three viewings. It was that bad. To give you a reference, the day before I watched Fast and Furious X and I watched it all the way through, fully alert, entertained, there were some cringe parts, of course. And I rewound and watched it a little bit. I watched some, you know, highlight parts, the parts that I loved the most before I went to sleep. Second night, I had Captain Marvel on and I couldn't even make it to the halfway point. It was that bad. Yeah, it's as bad as they say it is. It really is. Like, it's boring. It's draggy. Like, the, the pacing is trash. The villain, oh, God. The villain was so rubbish. Like her motivations are rubbish. What she's trying to do makes no sense, right? Because Captain Marvel could do those things for her. The Avengers could do those things for her. There were other better ways to do what she wanted to do. And also the way she was doing it didn't make sense. But I think the body could have been forgiven somewhat. It was when they started doing stupid stuff that I literally lost it. They went to a planet where you had to sing, but then at some point you didn't have to sing. Like the rules made no sense. So you have to sing to communicate, but oh no, actually you can talk. Then it gets worse where um, Nick, Nick Fury, oh God, Nick Fury. <laughs> Nick Fury has been utterly destroyed. I was waiting for them to tell me that the Nick Fury in this movie is the scroll. It wasn't. It was Nick Fury. He was trash. What happened to original Nick Fury? Original Nick Fury was never left to chance. Like, he was calculated. He knew everything that was going to happen and he had a contingency for it. There's Nick Fury. Uh, anyway, I don't want to go into Nick Fury. Forget that. I was talking about the stupid things they were doing. The, the ship gets attacked. It's, it's blowing. I don't even know if it was blowing up or... I don't care. And then they used the cat. The, first of all, the cat mated and then made more of himself. How? I don't know. Then they used the cat to eat. They used the cat to eat people, to teleport them. So lots of cats eat everyone in the space station. And then they transport the cats to Earth. And then the cat spits them out. Who, who came up with that? I was actually so annoyed. Three viewings, right? My first one, I didn't make it far. Second one, I was like, stick it out. I was like, it reached the point. I was like, nah, I can't do it. <laughs> and then the last push to the very end. Positives, Miss Marvel. That's it, right? She is so likable. I feel so sorry for her. I really feel sorry for the actor because She's so adorable. Because of Captain Marvel, I should have felt like going to watch her show. That's what I should have done. But it was so bad that, you know, even though she was really good in the movie, I, I still didn't get the drive to, oh, let me go check her out in, in Miss Marvel because she is so like, I don't like her parents. That, that was, the decisions were just stupid. No, they were just trying to be like the comedic relief of the movie. It didn't work for me. But literally, I can't think of anything else that was good about this movie except for Miss Marvel herself. Like, her fangirling, she was cute. Like, she, she loved being around, not Monica, she loved being around Captain Marvel. Yeah, she was good. She was the only reason. Every time she was on screen, I was like, oh, at least something. When she's not on screen, the whole thing was just silly. So, guys, you know, I gave it a chance. It's not a good movie. It really isn't. I'm trying to think what else happened. I don't, I don't even care. <laughs> I don't care. I really don't care. That movie is trash. Forget it. Apart from Miss Marvel, the entire movie is trash. Nick Fury, trash. Captain Marvel, oh, I will give her this, guys. She's not the same Captain Marvel from Endgame and Captain Marvel 1. And she was a lot more feminine, a lot more empathetic a lot more down to earth. Like, at one point, I was like, wait a minute, is this Brie Larson? Like, I, I actually told my wife, like, this is not the same Brie Larson. Something's happened here, because even the way she walked, guys, guys, if you remember in Captain Marvel 1, she was always ball-fisted, and she was always, like, 
with her shoulder up and blah 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 here she was very feminine like she was even when she was moving when she was in her suit she was very feminine she was very like remorseful unlike the first one where she could never do any wrong she emoted better this time she was more attractive this time that's okay i found two things so miss marvel was good and captain marvel is much better in this well brie larson is much better in this one as captain marvel even the ending was silly like the bad guy the fight scene was trash apart from Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel did some cool flips. Then the way she defeated herself was silly. Like she, she overloaded. They could have just let, I don't want to think about it. But she got the two bangles together, Miss Marvel's bangle that supposedly gives her her powers. That makes no sense either. And then she exploded. So the heroes didn't defeat her. They could have done that to Thanos. Thanos could have gotten all the stones and it's too much for him and he could have exploded. Would that have been good story writing? No. <laughs> no. We wanted, we were trying to get Thanos not to collect the stones. So when we, when he collects the stone, we wanted to see all the dread and we got the dread. And now that is one of the best movies ever made. Avengers Infinity War and Endgame. She gets the bangle and at the point where you're supposed to be like, oh crap, what are they going to do? How are they going to defeat her? She, she, she explodes. Stop it. No, I don't. Anyone who defends this, I don't know. Don't, this movie is not to be defended. And then Monica got stuck. I didn't, I didn't even care. <laughs> I didn't care. You know why I didn't care about Monica getting stuck in the other realm? She was being obnoxious to Brie Larson, um, Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel is being all empathetic, trying to be like, oh, I'm sorry, right? And then you just little, she left you when you were a kid. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Like she left to go and save the world. What's your problem? And then she was being all obnoxious. If they had resolved their relationship and you could have get that little little girl and her big auntie hug and oh I missed you and whatever, then money could get stuck would have been a little bit more impactful. There was no impact. You didn't you didn't want to be in there anyway. You didn't want to be with Captain Marvel anyway. So okay, go to the other universe. Nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> like it didn't make sense that she was so upset to that level it didn't make sense it's not like she left because she she abandoned her responsibility she left because she had responsibility anyway i said i was gonna stop and i continued we're gonna stop it there captain marvel is trash it's, it's not even worth a second viewing it's that bad it's not even worth a viewing like you know sometimes you want to put a movie on that is just like oh it's just one of those old superhero movies like oh check this out like x-men one two three days of future past one of the ones that we hate not um the days of future is it days of future past yeah, yeah yeah you can put it on and you can still get like bits where you can be like oh that was cool no not captain marvel 2 not miss oh, what's it called the marvel whatever guys let me know what you think in the comments below leave a like comment and sub remember i've got a relationship channel put it on the screen right now go over there give me a sub watch my videos over there as well i'll see you on my next video